Today we will talk about the hypothetical deductive method. The HD method is essentially an extension of the inductive approach to science. However, unlike the inductive method, which begins with observations and builds toward generalizations, the HD method starts from a different point. Its foundation is not observation, but rather a hypothesis that researchers aim to test and potentially generalize. This shift in starting point highlights a key difference in philosophical perspective. While inductive reasoning leans heavily on empiricism, the hypothetical deductive method also embraces rationalism. In other words, it places greater emphasis on reason and logic in the process of gaining new knowledge. Here's how the method works. It begins with the formulation of a hypothesis, an educated guess or theoretical explanation for a striking phenomenon, a series of observations, a set of events, or recognisable patterns. This hypothesis aims to offer a potential explanation that needs to be tested. From this hypothesis, a specific expectation is logically derived. This step is known as deduction. Essentially, the question becomes, if this hypothesis is true, what should we expect to observe? A famous example of this method in action is described by philosopher Karl Hempel and is based on a historical medical case, the mystery of childbed fever, a deadly infection that claimed the lives of many women shortly after childbirth in 19th century hospitals. One physician, Ignaz Semmelweis, noticed that mortality rates were significantly higher in one maternity ward compared to another. He hypothesized that doctors themselves were carrying particles from autopsies to the delivery room, unknowingly infecting the mothers. At the time, germs as we understand them today were not yet a known concept. From this hypothesis, a prediction was made. If doctors washed their hands in a disinfectant solution before assisting with childbirth, the number of childbed fever cases should decrease dramatically. Semmelweis tested this prediction by implementing a strict handwashing protocol using a chlorine solution. As expected, the mortality rate dropped significantly. The results supported the hypothesis and pointed to a causal relationship between the lack of hygiene and the spread of the disease. This is a textbook application of the hypothetical deductive method. A hypothesis was formulated based on a striking observation. A prediction was deduced logically from the hypothesis. An experiment was conducted and observations were collected to evaluate the outcome.